on Friday, I decided to say, I said to myself, um, let me just tap into a gondola and see if they're complying with the new requirements that we had implemented effective January 1st this year. And uh, lo and behold, when I went to this particular gondola, and I requested that they produce to me what they are accepting from proposed, proposed license, uh, recipients of license in order to sell them the firearm. Because one of the requirements is that the gondolas are not to accept any copy of an approval letter. The approval letter must be in its original format. And every firearm approval I sign, I sign in blue ink. I do not sign in black ink for the simple fact that they could photocopy, and uh, if you copy, the ink will be black, and some people might not be able to tell the difference. Secondly, we um, invested in a number of stamps, or not stamps, seals, because we tried to move away from the, slump, from the stamps because the stamps were more easily replicated. And so we bought these expensive seals that we use for firearm. We had one seal for commissioner of police, and that seal is used for our special protection license. The district formations also got a seal, but their seal can only be used for farmer's license, as you will know that the districts can approve farmer's license. And then dangerous goods office, which is downstairs, also got a seal for dangerous goods, and that is used for security companies and explosive approvals. So when I went and I saw the documents that were being accepted at the particular gondola, I noticed that many of the signatures were copied. And uh, for the inspection of them, I noted that the seal for the special protection was not the commissioner for the seal, but rather the dangerous goods of a seal, which would not be on a special protection approval. And so that raised some concern to me. And uh, based on that, I requested the gondola to, to surrender the documents which was done, and uh, I brought it to my office, and I had my secretary go through the list of approvals, because every approval that is done is recorded in a register. So she has a register that records every approval. And when we looked at the approvals that the, we got from the gondola, they were not entered in our ledger, which means that it didn't go through the commissioner's office. We further check with the firearms clerk office downstairs, the computer in the firearms clerk office. And again, they didn't appear in the firearms clerk register. So based on that, I directed the good deputy HNCIB to launch an investigation into the matter. That investigation is still ongoing, but I can tell you that the corporal in question who is Carpal Itch, Oscar Itch, has been detained since yesterday. And a search of his computer that he uses at the police headquarters resulted in the discovery of some of the same letters in his computer. So it shows that he was manufacturing these false approvals in his computer in his office. And so that has been looked at, hopefully, by the end of the day today. Um, charges will be laid. We have found a total of 28 of those approvals. And the persons to whom those approvals were given who have purchased these firearms, I say to them that those firearms are unlicensed firearms. And so we are in the process of recovering those firearms. And uh, they will not be returned to those individuals. They either surrender them or they be charged for keeping a licensed firearm.